coming to you all is me Patricia from Arizona and I have a very good advice for black people in America uh, and it's not just about Afro-American I'm talking about black people in America people they are legally allowed to vote in America you know I have been noticing a big wave when it comes to the black people um, you know because um, first uh, America, the black American told that by having a black president, the problems in America for us, black people would stop. You know, we told that maybe if there is a black president, our lives in America would get easier. And we found out the hard way this is not what happened. For hundreds of years, uh, our black great 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 grandmothers, I'm not African American, especially the people in America, have prayed and hoped for a black president because it was like our hope right or the, especially the hope of the afro-american people that have been living here and fight for the freedom not just for the afro-american but for us black people all over the world that now we can come and live in america thanks thanks to the black people the afro-american people that were fighting during slavery right because of you guys we black people from other countries, we have the freedom to come to America. So, and we know what slavery did to black people all over the world. So, um, one thing that uh, I really, really, really advise to black people, education, right? Because we know that the reason why, until this day, a lot of us are still in the same place or are not going anywhere or are thrown back and forth like the waves in the ocean is because we are not educated enough to recognize the truth of the people. And I'm speaking in a political way. Also, when it comes to brands, like, you know, I see that black people like to wear a lot of brands like Louis Vuitton. I am one of them, I'm a human being and Gucci and things like that. Everybody like the fine things, right? And who defines the fine things of life? It's always one race. And this, this video is not about race. This video is not about one race being better than other. All I'm telling you is that black people, we need to educate ourselves enough to grow beyond what people tell us we should do. First, as a black woman, my advice is for us to know our roots, for us to go to our roots and accept who we are. Because there's a division talk about, I'm not black, I'm Jewish, I'm not black, I am Native American with black. My family, me personally, my family is from Angola, Brazil, and Portugal. My mom's father, he was half Portuguese and half Angolan. And my dad's grandfather, uh, the roots are from Brazil, Bahia. And I was born in Angola, I was raised in Germany, and now I am in the United States. So that is a sense of pride when it comes to us black people, when we have, when we have uh, other races in our, in our homes, right? Because it makes us look or make us feel like, okay, I'm not just black, I have um, European, I have Indian, I have... So we were, we were taught to hate the roots of black. We were taught to hate our skin color, our features, and our hair, right? Because people think it's just because people thought it was ugly. That is not true. Because if it was true, people in Asia, Europe, in America, everywhere would not do and spend thousands and millions of dollars to look like us, right? People get, they get tan all the time. People change their hair textures. People do a bad injections and BBLs. Now we see a lot of women from other cultures and other races that have bigger butts and people think it's just natural now. There's a lot of BBLs, Brazilian butt lifts. Uh, you know, there's the fat transferring all those things and uh, butt implants. A lot of lip injections, right? And even the hair, people will uh, do things to their hair to make look more like our hair. So. Those are the things that we really need to focus on. Uh, people are doing what they can to look like us. 
but there's one race that everybody respects that everybody wants to look like that everybody wants to be like you know and because of that there's a lot of division among us so another thing like for example me i'm in a biracial marriage my husband is caucasian and uh, i'm black my first partner with my first daughter is a black guy things didn't work out and yes there was some behavior that i was like okay i don't want to do this i don't want to do that i did it again but now my husband is caucasian so i'm not saying that okay you know uh dating or marrying another race is a bad thing but the reason why we do is a bad thing and i think the reason why there's so much issue so many issues with, within the black communities not only in america some people think that only happens to america because i see sometimes afro-american people say i want to go back to africa i want to go back here i want to go back there trust me i lived in different parts of the world and i'm telling you the black problem is not just in america unfortunately black had adopted a mentality that white or other race are superior because i remember when i was little people everything people would say don't break the microwave don't because the white man did it it's like everything was credited to the white man i remember that i will never forget and you know when our kids were born our mom grandmother and stuff they always look look, look at fingers and ears to determine how dark somebody would be because the darker you are the less of a the less accepted you are right the coarser your hair is the less accepted you are and sadly this is a plague that is a disease a mental disease that has affected and impacted the black community all over the world negatively we have our dominicans that say we are not black and we know that um, the slaves were taken to those parts of the world and they were mixing with spain being because of that some dominicans and puerto rican and stuff they have their skin color right it's because of whatever uh, country com uh, colonized that region they will get mixed up with the slaves from africa and they will have mulatto kids but now those mulatto kids they say oh you know we are not black the same thing with cabo verde and things like that right like in my family we have from the darkest skin and we have to the whitest right because my family also has portuguese and sadly because of that there's a lot of division among black people and among mixed people we don't see white people always say oh you know i'm a mixed white person i'm this and this and this no they just you know they just say i'm white i'm caucasian you know and some people yeah they, you know I'm, i have iris i have this but not in the ignorant level that we do as black people this is very sad and another thing like when we choose our partners and i see that more mostly among black men the reason why they choose other race a lot of times is not just because they like a, a white woman or a kind of woman they always feel the need to put the black woman down to step on them and then be say yeah i cannot date them right i see that a lot especially in america uh, and it's very sad it's very ignorant because those women they fought for you they fed you for your grand grandparents and you probably have a black mom or a black dad so basically you are speeding on your uh, dna and you are speeding on the people that gave birth to you and this is just sad and disgusting but this is how we are it is today in africa and in south america and in europe everywhere black people we do not want to support each other when it comes to growth we see all the time in those tv shows that is you know majority of black or even if it is only one or two black people instead of them being united and work together they always fight and they put each other down black people constantly put each other down in angola where i was born the white people the light-skinned people always had better opportunities than the dark-skinned people okay and i'm telling you my family is mixed so i'm that i'm including including my family as well i personally saw how some of my family members were treated better than others and the only reason was because of skin color and i'm telling you right now it's very sad it's very disgusting it messes you up it makes you feel like where do i go right and for somebody like me that grew up in europe and sometimes i was more accepted by whites it's really sad because you grow up and you say where am i who am i 
right? And now, when it, when talking to the political side, right? Black people, one thing that we need to do, we know that this country, this nation, uh, was built purposely to block black people from going forward in life, from becoming high, right? That's why instead of provide education for the black people they prefer to bring people from other countries and give them jobs like in healthcare there's a lot of shortage in the black in uh, healthcare we need nurses we need doctors but they make school so hard because they want to make sure that only one group of people uh, you know moves ahead and the other goes down so they rather pay millions of dollars to bring people instead of educating their own people so that they can do better but why they do that? Because they don't want uh, black people to succeed. We see in our workplaces, right? In, in our workplaces, you can be the best you can be. You can do the best job and better or, or even more than other people. We do not get the same respect that other people do. They only have to do a portion of what, what we do and they get paid way more or they get treated way better or they get a lot of more recognition. It don't matter how great the company is and how many um discrimination laws and they have in place and they don't apply to black people and we see them all the time right we see how taraji and all that all the other people are talking about the industry when it comes to hollywood hollywood they will pay like those black you know actresses and actors that are great and greater than many people they'll pay them nothing and the people that are not even a portion of their of they uh, of what they are they get paid way way more there's no comparison right so black the 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 black lives in america they were meant to fail and this is that was established by the government it's like okay so i'm gonna because now you are free we are not allowed to enslave you anymore but which we still are slaves right we are still slaves because we go to work and we have to work extra hard we have to do everything they want us to do and we still don't have a voice and we are still slaves there's still slavery but they're trying to make it look like there's no slavery okay but so they make sure that a black man that commits us a crime that is 75 percent lower or even more than a white man will get way more time in prison or jail than that white person they might even not go to jail for rape and killing somebody because they want to make sure that black people have broken homes broken family because when it's harder for you to make it when you come when you come from a broken family they purposely set the lives of the people in America the black people of America to make sure that they don't move forward and when black kids are smart and they can get a scholarship they will use a crime that their parents committed <clears throat> or any small thing to make sure that they, they don't get scholarships so that they don't go they don't get a good job a good position in life and they don't become something higher and another way that black people are slaves in america okay look at all those celebrities they get they make all this money those rappers and stuff right they make all this money what do they do they will put diamonds on their teeth they walk around with those big chains with the diamonds they want to walk around with um, showing that they have Gucci and all those things. You know, they wear Gucci on their headbands and their wrists, their shoes. Every, every, their whole body parts has a brand. And I'm telling you, I have a lot of friends that are millionaires, billionaires. I work with very wealthy people. They don't walk around with things that say Gucci, uh, this and this and that. They don't. They walk around looking simple and they have all this money. But... That is another thing that black people lose their money instead of investing this is what they do they they just buy all those brands and then they hate on each other in a perfect example is what is happening with cardi b and anik minaj i think I, I use them because it's the easiest way that i can explain myself that young people will get it i'm gonna be 41 this year and i'm telling you black people we are one of the most hating people in this planet that's why we are not moving forward. That's why we are not getting the respect that we should have. And that's why we are not getting where we need to go to get because we keep on hating each other. We don't embrace one another. We don't lift one another. 
we are like the 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 uh, crabs in the bucket that from the moment that we see that one is leaving the bucket we pull them down and that is what happens all the time cardi b and Nicki minaj should get together and work together and help young black women that they try to do something better for their life become something better but yet they just fight and it's not just them it's so many the black industry they always hate on each other most of black stars cannot stand each other look what they talk about oprah and what she does to people and it's like really so we complain about equal rights we complain about how the white man is doing this to us and that you know they are blocking us but yet we block one another and this really said is very disgusting to see how black people treat each other what we call like they're even memes there is even tiktoks they say i will not date this black i will not do this i'm and I made mistakes before like that because I needed to be educated on that area and also based on my personal trauma and based on my personal experiences, I had a time that I could not stand Afro-American man. And it's because of certain behaviors that I don't agree with, right? And I still don't agree with, with a lot of them and what they say. But sadly, this is something that happens. And now that when it comes to politicals, right? So Trump, uh, he made sneakers, those gold sneakers. And we know they were aimed for black young men because black young men are the one that probably going to bite them the most, right? And then you have the Democrats that say, well, we're going to do this and this for you. So I, uh, black people are really thrown all over the world. And here in America, like the waves in the ocean. And what I mean by that is if one person say, I'll give you this, they will run to that person. And then they say, oh my God, they lied to me. They will run to the person. We are not educated enough to sit back and be like, what they're giving us is only to make us think that they're on our side. We need to understand that in this world, nobody in, is in our side. No in Africa, no in Europe, no in Asia, no anywhere in the world, people are in our sides. So the best thing we can do is to grow even when education is taken from us, we still can go to libraries, we still can go online, we still can do a lot of researches, we still can read, to do, take the time to really educate ourselves if they don't give us the education, because we need to ask ourselves, why we go back and forth? If they sell, give you free beans, we're gonna go to the free beans. I have rice, we're gonna go rice, right? That's why we don't go anywhere. And do you think those people care about you? You think those kids, those people support you? They don't care. They only know what to say to get you. Few years ago, everybody loved Biden. And now it's like, okay, Biden's not doing anything for the black community. Everybody now wants Trump. And then, oh my God, people were celebrating because Obama was uh, oh, the first black president. And then later, oh my God, we don't like Obama because Obama didn't do nothing for the black community. You see, we don't have a stable mind. We don't have a stable relationship with ourselves and our people. We are not stable anywhere. Our focus is to get money. Our focus is to get uh, uh, recognized in Hollywood and to get those prizes that they created. It wasn't supposed to be for us. And we still fight and we cry for those prizes when we could create our own empire, but we don't do because every time when we try to create empire, our own empire, it's our own, it's our own people that will come and demolish and break our dreams. All this hate among black people, among black men, especially women on the TV shows, only teaches the world that, oh my God, those people, they are really animals. They cannot even look at them. They want us to respect them. They want us to give them equal rights. But look how they behave with each other. They cannot work together. They are very unprofessional. And so we are the ones many times responsible for ruining our own reputation because we refuse to work. We refuse to understand that ghetto and unedu be uneducated and speak in certain ways is not a flex is despicable it's not something that we should be proud of one thing is where you're coming from 
and you appreciating and loving where you can be where you are from and another thing is for you to take the bad habits from where you are from and you make it bigger and make the world think okay this is the best this is who we are one thing i hate is how people go on tiktok and they make those fun videos and say look black people this is how black people treat their kids this is how we do this this is and i'm like why are you how can you talk for all black people how can you talk for all africa africa has a lot of content uh, uh, sorry has africa continent has a lot of countries with all different cultures and you can say, oh, this is how black people are. Because I'm telling you, this is not how we all are. Some of us really believe on being educated and having a really nice presence and have um, class and being respected for the right reasons. So my advice to black people, stop being like the waves in the ocean. Stop. We need to sit down and we need to grow. We need to sit down and ask ourselves, we've been fighting for all those years. Why are we still in the same place? If you are in a boat and if you're paddling and every you are always in the same place, that means some, the anchor is down or something is happening that is holding that boat in the same place. So we need to either jump out of that boat and swim or go and free the boat from whatever is holding the same place. We should not be proud of being always in the same place or continue to make do the same things and make the same play the same mistakes and just believe that magically things will get better. I'm so sorry. I you know some people might get offended because we don't like to hear the truth. I'm speaking my truth. I'm not attacking anyone. I'm just telling you we got to do better.